First winner bracket semi-final, we have Nons Esports now against Time to Shine. Espion, Glacier and Double Evolution against for Nons Esports. Dodrio, Mr. Mime and Blissey. Time to Shine going for Snow Lake, Super, Lucario, AMU and the Oshifu. Time to Shine also playing with a substitute. They have Soryu instead of Sayu, similar name. But it's not Sayu, it is Soryu subbing in because Sayu also had passport issues. Heading now into game number one. Right side, time to shine. Time to shine is always, they uh, never make it to the grand finals, but they can always beat those esports. They can always make something happen as they're currently a top four team in Europe. And uh, Shelvin going for that central Oshifu. And left side, we have again the WB Lucians going for the central area. SP already done. And now we have also Glaceon also evolving very soon. So Shelvin's going to take the entire right side to make sure he gets Oshifu Evolution done because Kapfu is a terrible early game Pokemon and you're going to make sure he gets level 5 as fast as possible. But 6, he's already level 4. Psyshock is there and he's going to try to go for these last hits um, very easily. Soryu playing Lucario. Looking for the Meteor Mesh Quick Attack right here. I'm actually not sure who got this last hit right now. Adesso already top path now with a Glaceon trying to be aggressive and he's going to steal the last hit away. Nice done by Adesso there with the Ice Wind Basic Attack. Is able to get that white Pokemon away from time to shine. Got to already level 5 as well now. It's gonna have that drip hack unless he goes for try attack this game. Um, but I assume it's gonna be drip hack. Gets done. Nice astonish there by Hooper, which makes drip hack disappear. Wonderfully paid attention by Gray and is able to deny the drip hack from happening. Rough on bot path again. That's a, such an annoying lane to be up against. Every barrier into confusion into Psyshock is also just a KO. And uh, every last hit. I mean, you can't fight last hits against Confusion and Psyshock Espion, right? It is so difficult. Oh, Gatlu dropping no HP there from Lucario. Has extreme speed this game. And there's Drippe coming through. Getting this last hit at least. We're still looking for Bliss Evolution for Geese. And he's gonna go for this one. And they don't get it. Lucario is gonna be able to claim it with Hooper. And now Shenzi is still there for Geese. Who's looking for level 4. Extreme speed, of course, very difficult to play in the current meta. It takes a lot of skill to play extreme speed. Shelvin with that searching strike to Shifu. They're going just for mid path and they're gonna run over at Gatlu going with, with the drip pack. So you may be looking for something nice. High shock side beam by 60s, landing on two members of time to shine, dealing so much damage. Gatlu now going in with the drip pack and the side shock is gonna take down Lucario. But Gatlu not done yet, looking for maybe a bit more right here. Has 30 points. Double KO now for 60s, looking for Snorlax next. Nice heavy, heavy slam. Side shock is going to miss, but now Shelvin is back. Can he find any knockouts right here? Gatlu getting slowed by the rep buff and Gatlu taken down. Finally, side shock going to land again. But Shelvin is not going to go down from this damage this time around. And 80 points of announce. Only 6 for time to shine. And uh, saw you staying top path with the Lucario looking for level 7. Bone Rush is very important for extreme speed Lucario because it gives you one entire more extreme speed. Gotta find a way of resetting it. So yeah, getting to level 7 is very important, which he's going to hit right now. Oshifo going back to center area, looking for level 9, which I think he's going to hit quite, quite easily. But Gatlu looking for the invade now. Can he spot out uh, the Oshifu? And we have 60 just going for Reggie Rock already. Level 9 Espion already. Just 3 minutes into the game. That's just how insane this Pokemon is at winning. You know, just laning phase. And Saisho comes through by the Sword Beam is there. And Heavy Slam of Gekugami is able to secure the Reggie for time to shine. Nons Esports not able to secure it. And now time to shine is also scoring top path. 30 points go in for Oshifu. And suddenly this game is looking great for time to shine and nice. Extreme speed there, going in as well, leaving the goal at literally one point. Are they going to break it? I think they're going to perfectly break it, just because they can do Regileki. And also gives Oshifu another attack rate stack. So I think it's totally fine to break the goal right there. Of course, they're going to go for the Regileki next. And try to open up the map a tiny bit. Level 10 now for Shelvin on the Oshifu. That was huge for time to shine. That was a massive win. They didn't have to commit all their members to bot path and Shelve and I mean, Gekogami and Borty just able to snipe it away with the Solar Beam Heavy Slam combo. Now time to shine, going to bot path, but nice 4-man Espeon, 5-man Espeon Unite by 6, he's trying to buy time. He doesn't find any knockouts though, and now Shelvin is going in. Knife move goes in now to Mr. Mime, but the Bliss Assistance keeps Mr. Mime alive, but Ushifu is also going to Surging Strikes back out alive. Now we have Geese on the chase with those Egg Bombs, but the Hyperspace Portal is going to get Mew back to base and back to full HP, and in the end, the one actually goes down on either team. In this exchange, which is insane. No one actually went down. Psyshock is going to land. Again. And Gatu is going to break top goal now to also open up the map a tiny bit for Nons Esports. More. Also, breaking at least one goal is very important against Super. So the Hyperspace Portal 
doesn't, you know, do as much. Of course, when every single goal is still up, it's quite difficult to deal with the rotations that Hooper can offer. So getting rid of one early goal is quite, quite nice to make sure that Hyperspace Portal gets a bit worse. Next, we're respawning at 20 seconds. Hooper, Snorlax still looking for level 9. On the left side, we have Bruff still looking for level 9 as well. And it's going to be a full-out Unite Move team fight as soon as Hooper and Snorlax reach level 9. Which I don't know if they will be able to, so Hooper's currently top path. Hooper's not even bot. So time to shine, they're just going to fight without their support. Because they know that well, Hooper does get level 9. No, they might just go for a Hooper and bound play after going for the Red Eyes. This could be huge. They're going to go for this. 4v5, try to steal it away, and then all poor top path. And maybe look for something, but Jody is going in right now. This could be very risky for time to shine. And it's very risky. Two instant knockouts for the side of Gatlu. But there's the Hooper Mount coming through. They're going to port at least two more members top path. And they're going to score 40 more points on Ushifu. And also a few more points on Lucario. But yeah, very risky play by time to shine. And Gatlu was able to punish it quite, quite fast. Drill pick coming through. Oh, Shaven's dropping so low in HP. Double triple surging strikes is not enough to get him out of not going down. And they get him in the end. 235 points now for Seven Esports. They also take down Mew. Espion 60 is having a great game so far. Now that three men, Espion and Nightfoot, are coming through. They're going to dive onto Espion. Nice block there by Kigami. Espion has to eject button across it. And the Unite of Lucario is going to completely with Heavy Slam comes through. And they're going to take down Espion this time around. Has no chance of getting away. Adesu also going to fall next one. Overextending a tiny bit too much right here. And so you just going to wait for the next extreme speed. Has to be careful that Adesu is going to turn it around. And he's going to take him down. Time to shine thought. That Lucario is going to win it. But he just doesn't have enough damage. His extreme speed's run out of time. And now Adesu's actually going to get away as well. Oh my god. Time to shine just messed up so hard. That is just criminal. What Adesu just got away with. He takes on Lucario and also scores and then gets out alive. That was absolutely criminal. Next Reggie Lecky now being taken by Time to Shine. Now it's Esports is not going to fight it. Instead, they're going to look for a score on bottom right. You can see Dodrio Mimler walking in, looking for the score right here. Maybe Shaven can somehow defend it, but Drillpack comes through. Mr. Mime is going to score 16 points, and they're going to look for Ushifu still, and Ushifu gets taken down by Dodrio. And now Gatlu's just scoring the enemy base right now. Drillpack coming through. And he's trying to score on the enemy base. 308, 187 points. Now it's with a solid lead in points so far. But still, one time minute to go until we have the Rayquaza spawning. And uh, 15 seconds for the next Reggie on bot path as well. Now it's going to clear this Reggie Lecky. And then they're going to head towards bot path to fight for this. They have to. They should fight for it for sure. Which Reggie is it going to be? Oh, a nice confusion there by Mr. Mime. Reggie is a bit more healing over time. And those barriers of Mime are going to start zoning. This now it's going to go for it. Doesn't look like they want to commit for it, because it's going to take a lot of time to actually take it down. They just want to make sure that Time to Shine doesn't get it themselves, and they're totally happy with neither team getting it. Bruff going in, hitting a double confusion right here. And those barriers are going to be so annoying. So, so annoying. He's level 11, so his confusion does a bit more damage as well. But the main part about this bit is just those barriers, making sure that people get stunned and can't move in. Gatlu with the flank on top path. Can they scout out Gatlu? Gatlu's level 15 on the story. Shelvin looking for a back cap now, going for the left side. They have Hooper, so they can always port back to Ray instantly. And Shelvin is going to score a few more points right here. Not too many, though. Time to shine the stick currently behind. Gekugami taking so much damage right now. 60 is also dropping to have HP from the story. Gatlu's going to score another 100 points on top right. Stonex will not be able to stop it. And now there's Hooper. They're just going to go for Ray now. They saw Dodrio scoring, so Time to Shine is going to decide to just go for the Red Quasar. They have Lucario Knight. Nice Espion is going to knock everyone up. Dodrio is going to fly in. Who's going to go to this one? It goes out to Time to Shine. Time to Shine is able to claim Red Quasar. Somehow Snorlax is going to be able to get it. And they're going to run over to the goal zone. Can they score points was the question. 90 points. Barely going for Snorlax. They couldn't stop the shield just in time. That was so close. Heavy slam. Lands onto Glaceon. Taken down as well. Time to Shine. 100 points going from you. In the enemy base as well. And now Time to Shine actually with a small point lead, but it's not over yet. It is not over. 50 seconds to go for Nones Esports to make a comeback happen. It is only with barely 30 points. They're going to try to scout out those ray shields, but Gatlu dropping down HP. Jump kicks across Super. And we still have Kekugami sneaking around. He's going to score 66 points unless you know, Espion is around. Psyshock's going to land, but now we have 80 points going in for Shifu. He's going to maybe even just recoil fast, and they're going to try to defend their home base instantly. Bruff is looking in. Bruff doesn't have Unite move up. 
Lounge doesn't have a single night move up, so it's super difficult. You can see Time to Shine just spinning around on the home base goal, making sure no one can move in. As long as they defend this, they're going to take game one in a very close game. Got to know going in with that drill pack. He's going to miss it. And he's going to score some points, though, almost, actually. But it's not going to be enough. They have no chance. They have so much damage from the Rayquaza Sheets as well. And Time to Shine are going to take the first map. Game number two, time to shine. Now going for Snorlax, Super Dodrio, Mew, and Machamp. On the right side, we have known eSports going for Oshifu, Slowbro, Eregos, Sylveon, and Glaceon. Again, two evolutions for known eSports. Can known eSports make the comeback happen, or can time to shine? I mean, I feel like it's always a bit of an upset if known eSports still loses. I know they have not been the most dominant team this year, but uh, every time they lose to like a non-Tali team, it always feels a bit like an upset. Cosons Esports is still one of the teams to beat in Europe as well. Shelvin going for that Sanctuary Machamp. Sixty is taking over the blue buff. And again, Evolution's just sharing the jungle buffs on the right side. Adesso going aggressive again. Mystic of Fire is there. He's going to look for Drew with Grey. But I feel like the Dudo is going fall. And yes, so you gets taken down by that Sylveon. Eight, two, and four points go in. And again, Adesso is going to be very aggressive in this early game with the Mystic of Fire Sylveon as we saw earlier today. But Shelvin, I think he's already done with his rotation in the jungle, so doesn't get caught by this. He's going to take a bit of damage right here, but not, it's not going to matter too much. Half his HP is gone, but the, the shield or the goal on the second base heats him to full HP in just two seconds again. Because it heals so much in the early game stages, but you don't have a lot of HP yet. Adesu ju jumping around, just waiting for the Atari to spawn. And we still only have a Kapu for the Savlons eSports, so a bit behind on top path. And we already have Dodrio now evolving. Gatlu doesn't get level 5 right here. Shlevin take the hyperspace portal and Dodrio now level 5 for time to shine. We now have Ch uh, Gatlu going over to the right side center area, getting that experience in onto the Oshifu. And Slowbro might be caught right here. Bruff HD look, looking, dropping very low. Tech is going to land the ball and taken down. Bought Kekogami with the 2v2 knockout on bot path, taking down Bruff. And taking down Slowbro is quite challenging. So nicely done by them. I think it's before 60 is trying to return some damage, but it's not going to be too much. What are you looking for? The last hit right here. Sorium comes through and he's going to steal it away. Nicely done by the Mew player. And time to shine spot path. Looking good in this game so far. We have Gatlu going for the Vic Blow Shifu. We saw a lot of Surging Strikes as well today. But Vic Blow and Surging Strikes both feel like a 50-50 choice. But Gatlu for sure prefers this way of playing Oshifu. Going for that secure for objectives with that Vic Blow damage. And yeah. That's just what he likes doing. Very understandable, because, you know, winning Rayquaza is the number one priority. 17 points, 12, and 17 points go in for time to shine. Actually, Adesu getting stopped right near, getting chased down. Can they take down Adesu? Heavy Slam is going to be up soon, and Adesu has nowhere to go. There's the Heavy Slam eject button, and Adesu taken down. Time to shine with another nice knockout. Body in Osoyu face checking right here. It has to be a bit careful. And 20 seconds for both objectives to spawn now. Gatlu now is very strong, already level 7.5, so he's going to do very well on this Ushifu level 8. High 7 in the game together with Shelvin on that Machamp. But if Machamp hits level 9 right here, it's going to be quite bad for the Seven Nones Esports. But it doesn't look like he's going to... Ah, he's very close to it. One more Bunny, and maybe one more NDD. He's going to get level 9, but Nones Esports, they just know about it. They're going to instantly go for this Veggie Rock. They have Big Blow, so bam, there we go. Smacked, Isaac a Spear into that Big Blow, and easy... Objective for the side of Nones Esports. Nothing Time to Shine can do about it unless they get a lucky Solium steal. And now Nones Esports gonna look for this push as well. Solium comes through. Big Blow being charged up. Grace dropping level launch. Speed but Hooper next hyperspace portal just in time and gets back to safety. Dodrio still staying top path. He's just gonna farm experience on the Dodrio. And hyperspace portal coming through. Time to Shine no rotation towards spot top path with Machamp, Hooper, and Dodrio. Still up there as well. And they're leaving Snorlax. Alone on bot path. They're gonna take down the Sergeleki and try to break the first goal of the game. Maybe for their side. It's at 22, so could be a nice overcap if it goes in. Bagatlu looking for knockout right here. Eject button goes in. He's gonna punch up Mew to the air. Vic Blow's being charged up and he's gonna take down Mew. Nicely played by Gatlu. Gets himself a nice knockout. And now they can defend the Sergeleki pretty much for free. And his next type move should be up for the next fight as well. Because it was still quite decent timing. I would assume so at least. 
but on the other side we have now it's esports going for 23 points on bot path so you know trying to jump away do with grace going very deep and glacier knight's going to finish off do rio heavy slam comes through gecko gummy looking for the knockout onto glacier but just running away do with grace still looking for the knockout onto glacier but sixties will be able to make it to the golden time and that shield is going to keep him alive and that's still being very aggressive Gatlu looking for some experience, and again, he's just trying to recharge his Unite move right now and uh, try to get his Unite move up in time for the next team fight, which is going to be spawning in 25 seconds. We have the try attack for Soryu. And Do With Grace is going to hit level 9 now for that hoop unbound. We're still only missing Unite move on Snorlax. He's 8 and, uh, I mean, 3 quarter. So still looking for a bit of experience right here. And Time Down is looking for this push right now. 13 points go in. Nice boost out tech landing on 60s is dropping very low on HP, and the point path has to be used to get 60s back to full HP. And now Gatlu doesn't still doesn't have Unite Move up, but he doesn't really have to care too much about it anyways. He has big blow. That's all he cares about. Much champ already using Unite Move right here, jumping in very deep onto 60s. A huge much champ tonight comes through. They're gonna take down Adegos, they're gonna take down 60s as well. Big blow has to be cancelled. And now Veggie Steel goes over to side of time to shine. The close combat comes through. Amal Champ is gonna claim it for time to shine. And they're also gonna get knockouts. 40 points go in. Another 40 points go in. No, they actually messed up. Dodri scored 12 points, which made me not be able to score 40. A bit of a mistake that I saw you. Didn't quite pay attention to how low the goal was. And they're going to lose 40 points up down there, but still a huge teamfight win. And they're also going to take down the Reggie Steel. Now looking for Sylveon. Sylveon getting taken down as well. Heavy slam landing onto Glaceon. Block is there. Trying to store time, but not. Time to shine is so low on HP. They try so hard to score. Two people go down. The Isaac is Spear flying across the entire map. And they're going to take down Machamp. They're going to take down Machamp. The Isaac is Spear flies across the entire map. Following the Hoopa and Bond portal. <laughs> it is hilarious. And Machamp gets taken down. He saw Shelvin on the mini map, on the cam as well. Being quite upset about it. He's like, what is going on, man? What is this Pokemon? Now eSports with a one-point lead in this game. Isaac is B is a very fair move. That is for sure. Vegileki now dancing around, bouncing up and down. I actually pulled out quite deep, so it's gonna just reset right now, back to full HP. If it goes out too far, it's gonna reset after some time. Shevin jumping in again with the make punch, close combat, doing some damage. And yeah. Now it's esports on starting up the next Regilecki again, but just going for this objective is so weird. You're in such a bad position, you're allowed to get flanked, and you're also going to take a lot of damage trying to go for it, because Regilecki actually does a lot of damage. We have Dojo farming on bot path, and uh, Gami looking for a block right here onto Bruff. Bruff getting pushed into its left side, but Storlex is going to fall in the end instead, and taken down Isaac Spear just doing a bit too much damage. And now now it's esports is going to go for it. Isaac Spear into big blow, and it's going to be an easy pickup right here. 60 is almost level 13 now, Gutlu's level 13, and Regilecki is just gonna walk in. Nice zoning by Bruffy with the surf, plus is just able to push it in. And 25 points going for Gatlu. Just making sure the goal goes down. And Kekugami, another Isaac Spear comes through. 60 is now hitting those Isaac Spears. I mean, what do you mean hitting it? He's just pressing people. But yeah, he's gonna find a lot of success with that Isaac Spear on Glaceon and get some unexpected knockouts. Another Reggie has spawned on what path? And this Reggie Rock is going to go over to announce esports. Isaac a spear into big blow and over and over again. The same thing is going to happen. And another Reggie Rock being picked up by announce esports. Gekugami very deep on top. Beth looking for another block right here. Getting caught again. Heavy slams back in. And they're just going for Unite Boost right here. They're going to pull on the fight. Bruff is taken down. Two members down off announce esports. And time to shine. Now they have to just go for Rack Phaser right now. They're going to drop the hoop unbound straight up onto it. It's going to be a 5v3. They just pull the trigger instantly. Gekugami going for the game deciding play. Much champ also wasting time. Rek Phaser dropping no HP. Who's gonna get this one? Try attack. Solar Beam. Solar Beam of Mew. Bot is able to secure for time to shine. And now it's esports. They have to get rid of these shields. Hooper trying to Phantom Force away. The shield is very low on HP right now. But Borty going in with agility serve. He's gonna score 100 points. Super going back to base. Saves himself at least. Loses the shield. The Dory's also gonna score another point. 100 points on bot path. Now time to shine with a 240 point lead. That was so well done by Kekugami. Just not wasting time. Just being so confident. Okay, guys, if we get two or three knockouts right here, we can go for Ray. And that was wonder wonderfully played by Time to Shine. Realizing that win condition is right there on a silver platter. And uh, Kekugami just baiting and just going for the Unite move, locking up three members of Lone's Esports. And then Chelvin activating Unite move, dynamic eject buttoning in, and taking down Lone's Esports right here. But again, 55 seconds are left. Lone's Esports still might have one more push that they can go for. They're still farming Unite Boost up right now. 
but they're still running around, they're gonna go for that final push. But it's gonna be so difficult again. Forty trying to just scout out the death. So he says a sheet as well. He's gonna do a lot of damage if he scouts him out. But he doesn't use any, any moves right here. Only goes for a light screen. There's the Solium coming through. Now, not Esports going for the push right here. Can they score some points? Wake Blow being charged up. They're trying, but the surf is there from you as well. Going into your night move right now. Boost out take a step by Gekugami. That's all. It's gonna be so difficult to deal with. He's gonna knock some people up, but two people are down for time to shine. Two people are down, much Tempest down to Rion. Three people are down, Glacium with a triple knockout. Now it's all down to Gekugami and Mew. Now it's Esports can actually maybe make this happen. I just try to score 100 points. And he's gonna do it. 100 points going, they have to walk towards the middle now. Can they score five seconds only, but Heavy Slam is gonna buy so much time. A four-man block is going to hit. And now it's just running out of time. Oh my god, that could have been so close in the end still. That could have been so close. You can see Shelvin being relieved as well. He was so scared. But in the end, time to shine is gonna take it. If there was 10 more seconds... Nouns would have probably taken it, but time to shine. They move towards the winner final, and Nouns Esports has to go throughout through the loser bracket now.